Karibu mtazamaji kwa taarifa kamili. Mali ya dhamani isiyojulikana imepotea baada ya takriban nyumba ishirini kuteketea kufuatia moto unaoripotiwa kutokea mwendo wa saa kumi alfajiri ya leo katika eneo la Joy Villa mtani Dandora. Aidha kanisa moja halikusazwa kwenye tukio hilo baada ya mtungi wa gesi uliokuwa kanisani humo kulipuka na kuteketea. Japokuwa hakuna maafa yaliripotiwa jamaa mmoja aliyekuwa kwenye juhudi za kukabili moto huo aliachwa na majeraha ya moto. Yes, exactly. Nikachomekea tu kwa harakati. Ndani hewa nani ikako? Nikaanguka lakini watu wakakuja wakamuokoa. Ndio amemuokoa. Sasa yule akapeleka kwa mama Lucy. Sasa tukaanza kuhangaika huko. Sasa mimi mimi nilibamba hapa kanisa na huyu mzee sisi ndio tumechokemeka tumechomekewa. Sasa kutoka hapo tumetafuta gari ya ya Mos atupati. Gari ya ikuji. Sasa wananchi wote ndio wamekuja wamefamilia wameanza kutusaidia. Gari imekuja kama watu ah, watu wamefanya kazi yote wamemali. Kando na hayo bawabu moja mjini Garissa amewawa asubuhi ya leo nje ya duka lililokuwa kilichunga wakati wa sala za alfajiri. Kwa mujibu wa walioshuhudia kisa hicho, marehemu alionekana akijiandaa kwa sala lakini waliporejea kutoka msikitini wakampata amewawa. Wapita njia wanadai waliona pikipiki mbili zikitokomea kwa umbali baada ya kisa hicho kinachosemekana kuwa cha tatu kutokea kwenye kipindi cha majuma matatu mjini humo. Polisi wanachambua video za kamera za CCTV za duka lililokuwa kilinda lililovunjwa milango japo hamna fedha zilizoibiwa Na mbodi ya filamu nchini imewakamata watu sita huko Matayos kaunti ya Busia kwa kufanya biashara ya kuosha filamu za video bila leseni. Afisa wa bodi hiyo tawi la Busia la Mek Omingo alidhibitisha operesheni hiyo akisema waliokamatwa walikiuka kanuni zilizopo na licha kukanywa wakaendelea kukaidi. <tos> This rock operator is that they, they are the same same people who exhibit pornographic content to the public. Content that is not desirable to especially kids. And he's one of them. The one that we have arrested is one of them. Yeah? Those you find that this guy, because he knows he's exhibiting wrong content. He doesn't want you to even inspect his premises. That's why he mobilizes people to do what? To, to stop you from doing the same. And he's not the only one. There are, there are so many. There, 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 there are number. There are number of them. In Busia and Bungoma, there are number of them. Both exhibitors and distributors. And we'll get to them. Mtazamaji tukivuka Tanzania ni kuwa ajenda wa kulima wadogo wadogo wa mashariki na kusini mwa Afrika ya kutaka nchi wanachama wa Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki kuongeza bajeti ya kilimo hadi kufikia asilimia zaidi ya kumi uende kafanikiwa baada ya bunge ya Jumuiya kusikiliza hoja hiyo wakati wa kikao cha mwisho cha bunge hilo la nne mjini Arusha nchini Tanzania. Wanahabari wetu Rajab Hassan anaarifu zaidi. Ishara ya mwanzo mzuri. Watunga sheria wa Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki wamelienzi ombi la wakulima wadogo wadogo la kutaka bunge kushawishwa kuwa nchi kutekeleza mkataba wa malabo unaostaka nchi za Afrika kutenga bajeti ya kilimo inayofikia asilimia kumi. Ikizingatiwa Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki pia ileridhia mkataba huo kupitia azimio la Zanzibar mwaka 2016 wakati wa vikao vya bunge la tatu. Matias Kasamba kiungo wa ajenda hii ameliambia bunge kuwa ombi hilo la wakulima ni muhimu kutekelezwa. I am ready and we shall continue to handle this petition until we see gradual improvement in the allocation of the budget sector and also the ESC to establish an institutional framework, a commission, a full 
Agriculture and Environmental Commission, which should oversee, like how UN has FAO, it has World Food Program, has IFAD, International Fund for Agricultural Development, AU has Rural and Agricultural Commission. They have so many. Why not us? Tafiti mbalimbali zinaonesha nchi za Afrika mashiriki zimeshindwa kufikia lengo la mkataba wa Malabo na baadhi ya wakulima wadogo waliofika hapa kusikiliza hoja hii muhimu wamekiri wanakumbana na changamoto lukuki zinazozuia maendeleo yao. Ukiangalia kwenye sekta ya kilimo hatuna zana za kutosha, pembejeo ni gali, lakini hata hata masoko bado ni tatizo. Lakini ukiangalia pia ardhi zetu unashindwa uweke mbolea gani kwa sababu hali ya utafiti bado ni iko chini sana. Elfrida na Faraja wametuambia wana imani thabiti kilimo kitawafaa kama nchi wanachama zitaongeza bajeti ya kilimo kufikia asilimia kumi inayokusudiwa. Tunanunua mbegu kwa bei kubwa, mbolea na hata hivyo hatupate hata hivyo mazao. Kwa hiyo matarajio yangu ni kwamba tutapata mabadiliko makubwa haitakuwa tena ni hadithi kama walivyo kuwa hapo nyuma waliandika kwa sababu sasa ninaamini wanaenda kufanyia kazi na itatufikia vizuri na itatufikia kuanzia ngazi ya juu hata ya chini hoja iliyowasilishwa hapa imeletwa wiki moja baada ya wakulima wadogo wa mashariki na kusini mwa Afrika ESAF wanaokusanya saini za wakazi milioni moja wa Afrika Mashariki kukutana na spika wa bunge la jumuiya wakitaka bunge kushinikiza wakuu wa nchi wanachama kutekeleza mkataba wa Malabo na kuhakikisha ajenda ya ASAF inakuwa moja ya mazungumzo katika mkutano mkuu wa mwaka huu wa wakuu wa nchi wanachama wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Rajab Hassan, KT News, Arusha Tanzania. Wafanyabiashara sasa wameruhusiwa kuendesha shughuli zao katika barabara ya Nyeri na Nyuki. Hii ni baada ya kuruhusiwa na mamlaka ya barabara kuu Kenya kabla ya kuanzwa kwa ujenzi wa barabara hiyo. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amekashifu hali ambayo wanabiashara hao walifurushwa kutoka kwa maduka yao. Kisho kutoka kwa Kenya kwamba wachuuzi ambao wako hapa hakuna tena watabomolewa nyumba zao saa tisa ya usiku toko haijaisha kule na kabla hawajaanza kutengeneza barabara hapa watupatie nafasi wachuuzi wetu waendelee kufanya kazi yao harari ninyi si wezi ninyi mnafanya kazi harari lakini katika serikali yangu bora mimi ni governor hakuna hata mtu mmoja ataweza ata umizwa tukimove katika soko kwa sababu sisi tunataka haki Um, tukisonga maeneo ya Nyeri ni kuwa vijana katika kaunti hiyo ya leo wamejumuika katika hafla kuimarisha weledi wao katika biashara na kufaidi kutokana na ajenda kuu nne za serikali hafla hiyo iliwaleta pamoja vijana kutoka kaunti nzima ya Nyeri imefanyika katika kanisa la PCA nyo Machaki ni hafla iliyopangwa na mashirika mbalimbali kwa ushirikiano wa serikali ya kitaifa na ile ya kaunti The, the opportunities that are there in the big agenda. So how do they then internalize that and prepare winning business plans? And after that, we'll be having a business plans contest where we expect uh, 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 the effect to trickle down to the world level. And in this, in, in this I mean that um, uh, we'll be able to have a winner in each and every county. Every contractor is being given a job. He must incubate a youth, train him how to tender for the job, how to execute the job, and show him and walk him through the steps of life because these opportunities have been denied the youth. This country has become survival for the fittest, and the youth would have no opportunities unless we change the status quo and we change the way we do things and actually change the way that we look at things. This idea not have come at a better time when we have uh, a lot of youth who are coming from school and sometimes they are, they are seeing Uh, like uh, life is impossible because of the lack of employment. But you see, with this kind of a problem, I want to believe that many youth will be able to employ themselves, and especially us uh, working together with the convener of this meeting today, we want to uh, have a program that will integrate the youth. Sheria za michuki zinazositizwa katika sekta uchukuzi wa umma zinaendelea kuzua hisia mseto miongoni mwa wadau husika. Uko naro kuwapo wanaokaribisha sheria hizo na vile vile wanaopinga. Michuki ni sawa juu ni usawa kwa binadamu na pia kwa sisi wenyewe kama driver. Sioni mahali imeadhiri biashara za kidogo 
mbele ni usawa magari upande wa mbio sipiti ikiwa limit ya 80 ni mzuri maana mtu kusukia mambo kwa barabara na michangamoto ni mingi gari imetoka hivyo kutoka Japan ikiwa na hiyo kio imekaa kama iko na tint hata ukikwaruza sio tint ni kio vile imekuja sasa tunaambiwa tutoe vio na vio sasa hiyo ni gharama tunaenda gharama kwa kio unaweka na 1012 hiyo 1012 sasa hiyo ni hasara kwetu sababu hiyo kio bado unaweka nyumbani haitakusaidia Tukiachana na hayo ni kuwa waziri wa elimu na michezo kaunti ya Nairobi Janet Ouko na mkewe gavano wa Nairobi Primrose Mbuvi wametembelea makao ya kurekebisha tabia watoto eneo la makadara. Wamewakabidhi watoto hao msaada wa bidhaa kama vile viatu, masanduku na nguo. Msaada huu ukiniwa kuwa faa baadhi ya watoto hao waliofanya mtiani wa darasa la nane watakapojiunga na kidatu cha kwanza. Katibu katika wizara ya madini John Omenge alizungumza na KTN kwenye mahojiano ya kipekee na kujibu maswali mbalimbali kuhusiana na sekta ya madini haya hapa mahojiano hayo Artisanal and small scale mining yes is recognized and given a special treatment in the Mining Act 2016 this is because artisanal mining is the most prevalent form of mining around in our country. So each of our 47 counties, including Nairobi, have at least one form or other of artisanal mining. Uh, indeed, many counties have more than one form of artisanal mining based on the mineral resources that are being uh, harnessed from the mining. And because of that, the government has taken it that artisanal mining is the most important form of mining in our country because it goes all the way to the grassroots and therefore it's the form of mining which if we help improve on it we will bring the biggest change that we can this however does not mean that the government is not interested in the large-scale mining no government is also interested in large-scale mining and is putting into place measures to ensure that that is also properly uh, harnessed so what is the government doing? We have started quickly on setting up artisanal mining committees throughout the counties. We have contacted our governors and uh, we already have uh, some of the governors who have nominated to us the chairman of the artisanal mining committees. As you know in the law, uh, the chairman of the artisanal mining committee in the county is the nominee of the governor. And uh, together with that, we are also getting nominees of uh, the artisanal mining associations. And these are three in each case from each county. And uh, as national government, of course, we are working to ensure that there is a parity in, in the gender considerations of the membership of uh, the representation. So where we are getting, uh, say, uh, more men, we'll accept two. And we insist that the third one has to be a woman. And if it is more women, that is two, we insist the third one has to be a man. So in this way, we are uh, enabling uh, a better expression in line with the policy of one-third gender consideration that the government is implementing. Now, we have other members of this committee that include uh, 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 people who are supporting national government at the, at the, at the grassroots level our lands officer at the county, and also our environment officer, for example. Of course, we do have officers of our state department who are in charge of mining also represented. So it's a great committee, and we are happy that we are receiving uh, nominations from our governors, and we are proceeding to have this to be gazetted so that these committees can uh, start supporting the national government even as we uh, formalize, help formalize the activities. Artisanal 
and small scale mining uh, in our country uh, suffers to a large extent so ad ad adequate sources of funding to support the activities. And what we are doing from the State Department of Mining is to have engagements created between uh, teams of Atsano miners and we are working to have them registered in 10s and 15s which is what we have been advised to do by our own uh, national government funding uh, agencies, uh, Weso Fund, for example, the Youth Fund, the Women Enterprise Fund, and uh, they are responding very well because now uh, by having them registered in these uh, teams, they are able to draw funds from, from, from the national government through these initiatives. At the same time, we are also asking for them to even be put together, these tens and fifteen teams, to be put together into cooperatives. Uh, Migori, for example, is a county, is great. It has uh, one of the most uh, successful uh, small-scale mining cooperatives, MICA, which is doing very well. We are asking the others to emulate such. And uh, these activities uh, we have rolled out in Kakamega, in, in Migori again, in Kisi, and, and various other counties, and uh, this is working well. What happens is they're being trained, one, on matters of bookkeeping, for example, so that they are all able to see and understand how to manage the money. And of course, when people do know, uh, Edith, you you obviously recognize that it becomes difficult to steal from people who know <laughs> if ever one intended to. So that is important. So capacity building, the training. Two, we are not alone, as I said. Uh, we are working together with other agencies, uh, other, other, other offices of national government, including our national administration. We are also working with the county governments and uh, the, the support that we have uh, at the grassroots level from all the leadership is, is really helping uh, develop this. And we also now have a lot of well-informed uh, citizenry. People understand the constitution. People understand their rights. The youths are asking questions and we are encouraging them. We are saying if you see something that uh, is not acceptable, please talk about it. And, and this is very helpful. Uh, we are also working together with civil society groups and even clergy, the church. Uh, we have a great relationship, Catholic Church, for example, and uh, the civil society organizations that are involved, the CBOs themselves are there, and the NGOs. So we think from the composition that we have in this committee and the provisions that we have in the Constitution and the law, we have a great uh, opportunity to actually develop these resources without having to... To, to have great difficulties. One, of course, cannot say 100% for sure that such difficulties will not happen, but if ever they were to happen, at least there are ways of dealing with them. Uh, yes. Thank you. This is a very important provision uh, in the law, and uh, which will go a long way once fully realized to open up great opportunities for us as a country. Uh, currently, we are, as national government, are collecting uh, all the royalty that is coming from uh, the mining activities. And uh, it goes to, uh, to the consolidated fund. It is, uh, it is uh, held there. There is an instrument that we are developing that is to provide for the sharing. At some stage, there were the thoughts of developing uh, the sovereign fund uh, that uh, will take care of all the royalties that we have, but we also recognize that we have a need to quickly realize uh, the sharing through a, an instrument that is for mining. And this was uh, drafted, and it's with the National Treasury. We are working together with the National Treasury. We are also working together with the Office of the Attorney General and Department of Justice to be able to fast track and complete this process so that we will be able to have these funds uh, shared with our people. We discussed about, um, uh, for example, the royalty share. We discussed about that instrument mm -hmm. that so uh, we, we, yeah, we are working. Because, you know, uh, we can't just disperse it 
plainly because it, uh, it has to be done as per law. So once that is in place, that will happen. Um, under the Community Development Agreement Committee, the requirement is that there has to be that Community Development Agreement Committee. Uh, so if you do not have such a committee, then you do not have the way of getting that at least 1% of gross revenue. And that's why we are working hard to have these committees in place. Na mtukia chana na hayo ni kuwa gavana wa kaunti ya vihiga Wilbur Otichilo amewapa changamoto vijana kutoka kaunti hiyo wajitokeze na kuanzisha miradi ya kujinufaisha maishani. Otichilo anawataka vijana hao kuwa mstari wa mbele kuchangia maendeleo ya kaunti hiyo kwa kuwekeza kwenye miradi katika sekta ya afya, kilimo, biashara akisema benki ya dunia imetoa kima cha shilingi milioni miambili hamsini za kuwanufaisha. Gavana huyo alizungumza hapa Nairobi alipuanda kikao na mamia vijana walio katika taaluma mbalimbali. I've come to ask you to join us as a team that determined to transform Vihiga into a prosperous and a model county in Kenya. And we are convinced we can do it. Vihiga is a small county, but highly densely populated. So actually we are a big urban area. In fact, Vihiga is a, is a big urban area. So we need to focus on how we are going to develop Vihiga into an urban a true urban area where we provide goods and services. Kampuni ya Standard Group itashirikiana na vio viku vya humu nchini pamoja na mashirika na ufanyo utafiti ili kufanikisha mradi wake wakutuwa hamasisho na elimu kuhusu elimu. Kulingana na afisa mkuu mtendaji wa Standard Group Orlando Liomu, vio viku vya humu nchini vina uwezo mkubwa ambao naweza saidia kufanikisha mradi huu ambao taru mungu wa mkono na wa Kenya wengi. Liomu aliesema haya alipokutana na wasimamizi wa chuo kiku cha maseno. Talked about uh, the equipment, the equipment, the equipment. Uh, the, that kind of equipment will uh, to, to, to produce quality graduates who will fit in the market. One of the things we are happy to do, and I think if you look around, last night we were just discussing and we realized that a lot of people have passed through the hands of the standard group, whether it's KTN or the standard newspaper. They are now with the BBC, some have been to CNN, uh, but a lot of them, the one thing they tell you is that I started in the standard group. And we feel that we'll continue providing a platform for students to nurture their talents in the real environment. I, I'm sure we cannot absorb so many at a go, but if we do it in, a, in an organized way, we can always provide slots for a couple of students at a go. We just come and experience what it is to operate in the real newsroom in an organization. And considering that we are one of the few multi-platform media houses, we think we can provide a good atmosphere for people to become better journalists when they get out. Na mtazamaji katika sehemu yetu ya pili itakuwa tunaangazia makala maalum yaliyoandaliwa na mwanahabari wetu Francis Mtalaki ni makala ambayo anaangazia tatizo kuu la kisauni ni lipi na swala hili linatokana na mambo ya usalama jina langu ni Frida Mwaka mdomeni ruhusu 